Hello, and thanks for joining us. Today's video will cover the programming of the Dig Light One and Eco One irrigation controllers. These single station controllers are powered by ambient light only. No direct sunlight is required after installation. The timer is available in four different configurations. It is sold with an inline valve, an anti siphon valve, a manual valve actuator, or with only a solenoid. Today's video will focus on programming, which is identical for both models. For instructions on installation, please see our Dig Light One and Eco One installation video. But before installation and programming, please charge the unit in direct sunlight for two to three hours, or until the power level icon shows three vertical bars. The timer is programmed by using the center target button and the four directional arrow buttons. The target button is used to select the programming mode. The left and right arrow buttons make the displayed value flash. The up and down arrow buttons are used to increase or decrease the flashing value. Icons will appear on the screen to identify which mode has been selected. Before we program a watering schedule, we need to set the current time and date so the controller will water at the correct times and days of the week. Press the center target button until the current time and date icon appears in the upper left hand corner of the display. To set the correct current hour, press the right arrow button and the hour digit will flash. Press the up or down arrow buttons to change the number to the correct current hour. To select AM or PM, keep pushing the button until the hour passes 12. Next, press the right arrow button and make the minutes digits flash. Press the up or down arrow buttons to set the minutes and finish setting the current time. Next, the current date must be set, which is in the month, day, and year format. Let's set the current month first. Press the right arrow button. MO and a flashing digit will appear on the left side of the display. Press up or down to enter the current month. Then press the right arrow button again, and the center digit will flash. Press up or down to change the number to show the current day of the month. Finally, press the right arrow button again and then press the up or down arrow button to set the last two digits of the current year. After the current time and date is entered, press the center target button and move on to the set days mode. The controller can be programmed to water on specific days of the week, once every so many days, or on odd or even number days of the month. All the units shipped from the factory set up to water on every day of the week, which is indicated by the underlines under every day across the top of the screen. To make a day a non-watering day, press the right arrow button until the desired day flashes. Then press down to take away the underline. For example, if you wish to water only on Tuesdays and Saturdays, press the right arrow button until Monday flashes. Then press down to take away the underline. Press right until Wednesday flashes. Then press down to remove the underline. Repeat this process, skip over Saturday, and remove the underline on Sunday. When finished, only Tuesday and Saturday should be underlined. To add a watering day, just press the right or left arrow button to make the desired day flash then push up to add the underline. It is also possible to program the controller to water on odd or even numbered days of the month. To do so, first take away the underlines from every day of the week, then push the center target button. The word even will appear flashing. To select even day watering, press the target button and move on to the next mode. To select odd day watering, push the up or down arrow to select odd and then press the target button to move on to the next mode. Another option is to program the controller to water once every so many days on a cyclical basis. For example, once every four days. To do so, press the right arrow button to make odd or even flash. Then press the right arrow button again and one day will appear flashing. Next, press the up arrow button three times to change the one to a four. The controller will now water once every four days. 
In the cyclical mode, the watering will not always occur on the same days of the week. When finished with this mode, press the center target button to move on to the start time mode. The controller has up to five start times available per day. Start time number one will appear first along with the clock icon at the bottom of the screen. Start time one is set to 6 a.m. by factory default. To change the start time, press the right arrow button and the hour digits will flash. Then use the up or down arrow buttons to change the starting hour. Press the right arrow button again and the minutes will flash. Now you can change the minutes by pressing the up or down arrow buttons. To check or change start time number two, press the right arrow button and start two will appear. The word off will appear flashing on a new unit. Simply press the up or down arrow buttons to enter your second start time in the same manner as start time number one. To delete a start time, the process is reversed. First select which start time you want to delete. Make the hours digit flash, and then press the up or down arrow buttons until the word off appears. Off appears between 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. When finished setting up the start times, press the target button and move on to the runtime mode. The runtime is the watering time or duration of watering. When the runtime mode is selected, an hourglass icon will appear on the bottom of the screen. The runtime can be set from one minute to five hours and 59 minutes in one minute increments. The first digit is hours and the second two digits are minutes. So a runtime of 15 minutes should show zero, one, five, or zero hours, 15 minutes. Press the right arrow button to make the hour digit flash. Then press the up or down arrow buttons to change the runtime hour. Then press the right arrow button again to make the minutes flash. Set the runtime minutes in the same manner. There can only be one runtime, which will be applied to all start times. When you are finished with setting the runtime, press the target button and move on to the set ET mode. Due to seasonal changes in the weather, plants will need less water in January than they do in July. The simple smart ET mode is one of several options available to save water automatically. The Eco One will automatically make monthly adjustments to the runtime so you don't need to make those changes yourself. This mode, when activated, will automatically adjust the runtime on a monthly basis based on historical ET for the region selected. To set up the ET mode, please follow these steps. Select the type of system, either drip or sprinkler. Select the location of your region on the color-coded map in the owner's manual. Select the smart program number from the chart next to the map. Enter the smart program number in the set ET mode. For example, if the timer is controlling a sprinkler system in San Diego, California, we can see from the map and chart that SP06 should be selected. To enter this into the set ET mode, press the right arrow button and the word off will flash. Then press the up arrow button until SP06 appears. The runtime will now be adjusted automatically for the current and future months based on historical ET data for the region selected. To check the adjustments to the runtime, press the target button until the hourglass icon appears at the bottom of the screen. Now you will see the current month appear next to the runtime, which will most likely be different from the runtime originally entered. To check and see how the runtime will be automatically adjusted for future months, press the right arrow button until the next month appears on the left. You will see the runtime change from month to month. When a simple smart program is active, the set ET icon will appear on the bottom of the display. To deactivate the ET mode, press the right arrow button and the SP number will flash. Then press the down arrow button until the display shows off. When the ET mode is deactivated, the set ET icon will not appear on the time and date screen. The set budget mode is another water saving option which allows you to preset one or more months to automatically increase or decrease the runtime. 
The budget mode can also be used to fine tune the runtime on a monthly basis when the set ET mode is active. To change or check a monthly budget percentage, press the center target button until the set budget icon appears. The current month will appear on the left and 100% will appear on the right. Press the right arrow button once and 100% will flash. To increase the runtime for the current month, press the up arrow button. To decrease the runtime, press the down arrow button. The runtime can be changed in 5% increments only. To set the budget for another month, press the right or left arrow buttons again and repeat the process. When the current month has a budget other than 100%, the set budget icon will appear on the current time screen. Every controller is factory set to 100% for each month. The rain delay mode is another option available to help conserve water, in this case, due to rainfall. Setting a rain delay temporarily suspends the programmed watering schedule. The irrigation program is retained and automatic watering will resume when the delay is expired. To set a rain delay, press the center target button until the rain delay icon appears. The word off will appear. Press the right or left arrow buttons to make the word off flash. Then press the up arrow button and enter the number of days for the controller to wait before resuming automatic operation. To delete a rain delay, reverse this process and press the down arrow button until the display shows off. When a rain delay is active, the rain delay icon will appear on the current time screen and will remain visible until the delay expires or is canceled. The events off mode allows you to program the controller so it will not water on certain days of the month or months of the year, regardless of the program schedule. To activate the events off mode, press the center target button until the events off icon appears. The current month number will appear on the left and the word on will appear on the right. Every day will have an underline across the top of the screen because every day and every month is factory set to be on. To program the controller to not water for a particular month, press the right or left arrow buttons until the desired month appears on the left. The word on will flash and MO will appear on the right. Press the down arrow button and change on to off. Now watering will not occur for the entire month selected. To program the controller to not water on specific days of the week of a specific month, press the right or left arrow buttons until the desired month appears on the left and the word days appears on the right. On a new controller, every day will have an underline. Next, press the right or left arrow buttons until the desired day flashes. Then press the down arrow button and take away the underline from the days where no watering should occur. When the events off mode is active for the current month, the events off icon will appear in the current time screen. To reset the events off mode to normal operation, just reverse the process. Every day should have an underline. And every month should show the word on. The button on the right side of the keypad with the water drop is the manual watering button. This button may be pressed at any time to immediately open the valve. When the button is pressed, the screen will show the word on for a moment. And then the runtime will appear. The valve will close when the runtime is finished, or to close the valve immediately, press the manual watering button again. The word off will appear for a moment, and then the display will revert to the current time screen. On the left side of the keypad is the program on and off button. This button's function is to activate or deactivate the program. This button may be pressed from any screen. The automatic operation will be stopped indefinitely and the word off will appear on the display. In the suspended or off mode, programmed water will be prevented, but the manual button will still function. The timer will not water automatically until the program on and off button is pressed again. The current time of day will show on the display. The controller is now programmed and ready to provide many years of reliable operation. The Eco One and Light One ambient light powered irrigation controllers are just a few of the many water saving products from DIG. To view the installation video or to learn more about DIG irrigation products and the benefits of low volume irrigation systems, please visit our website 
at digcorp.com. Thanks for watching.